Eating cheese, last thing. It's given me terrible dreams. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Uh, last night, I dreamt I'd accidentally become engaged to our neighbor, Miss Flit. Oh, oh, oh. Can you imagine? What's this? Oh, no, lad. So it wasn't a bad dream after all. It's a real life flipping nightmare! It's all coming back to me at the fair. I found that lug nut and she thought it was a. Oh my kitty aunt. Talk about matrimonial misunderstandings. You've got to do something, Gromit! No. I've got to do something. I must go and speak to Miss Flit at once. I apologize and explain it was all a terrible mistake. I'm sure Miss Flit will understand. She'll probably be relieved when she learns I wasn't proposing marriage after all. It's not as if we've much in common. <laughs> well, I suppose there's nothing for it but to, uh... Oh, Major Crumb. Yes? Ah, morning, Wallace. I've come about a professional matter of the utmost delicacy and secrecy. You have? Oh, wonderful. Uh, step into my consulting room and tell me all about it. Seems I'm going to be tied up for a while, Gromit. Uh, on business, uh, why don't you go and put your ear to the ground and find out how the land lies next door? And if they put the thumbscrew... No answers yet in the, uh, flit case, Gromit. You may want to use some of my equipment. That's right. Put the thumbscrews on her. Now, have you got all you need to get started? Uh, not quite everything. Dash it, what more? Great Aunt Prudence, you came so quickly. Of course, Felicity. An urgent summons from one's only living relative and heir to one's fortune can mean only one thing. Man trouble. Now, who is the blighter this time? I'll box his ears if he's been toying with your affections. Oh, no, no trouble as such, Aunt Prudence. But, well, there has been an important development on the matrimonial front, which... Pardon me, Aunt Prudence. I think I spy an ugly little intruder. I... Positively loathe fungi. Come, let's go inside for a cup of tea. Have you come, my old child? Man trouble always makes me hackles rise and my petticoats fluster. In his spare time, he likes to tinker a little. Tinker? Yes, um, inventions and such like. A handyman? Well, you'll obviously have to put a stop to the inventing. Certainly not in the house. Can't be tolerated. Oh, oh no. Far too messy and intrusive. Hmm. Well, I think you've told me all I need to hear. And so? So long as he doesn't leave his contraptions lying around all over the house, he sounds a very suitable suitor. So our engagement has your blessing? I don't see why not. Unless... Yes? Unless, of course... Well, he's not... He's not a member of that... place, is he? 
that appalling country club whose name alone makes me shudder. You mean Prickly Thicket? Oh, yes. Oh, heavens child, you know our family history. We flits have never associated with those dreadful Prickly Thicketers. Oh, you needn't worry, Aunt Prudence. Well, this isn't the Prickly Thicket type. Morning, Mr. Paneer. Constable Dibbins. Delivering the mail as well this morning? Aye. Posty's off sick. He's got the mumps and I've got the um. Sorry to hear that. Her Majesty's mail must be delivered. And PC Ernest Dibbins has never shrunk from duty. Even when such duties aren't even part of his blinking job description. Here's your post. Ah. Couldn't help but notice the coat of arms, Mr. Paneer. A prickly thicket, isn't it? Happen. So, you remember then? Hmm? Oh, aye, aye. Practically my second home. Is it now? That's a very interesting coincidence. I was just saying to myself the other day, Ernest Dibbins, it's time you joined a... Oh, my! Excuse me, Constable. What are you staring at? Get along now. Back off. Caught him trying to nick your letter. The important one from <coughs> Prickly Thicket. Oh, that's only the envelope. I've got the letter here. Not bad news, I trust. Oh no, quite the reverse. It's my turn to propose a new member. Is it really? Well, I never. It's a heavy responsibility. Not everyone's cut out to be a prickly thicketer. The candidate must be a gentleman of impeccable character. Someone who's always there for a friend in need. A pillar of the community. And, of course, a sportsman. Going to be a long search? Uh, not necessarily. I mean... The ideal candidate might be, uh, somebody who's very close to you. Oh? Aye. Somebody who's right in front of your nose, in fact. Ah, yes, of course. You mean Mr. Wallace, my near neighbour and one of my best customers. Wallace? He's no blinking sportsman. He don't know one end of a golf club from t'other. Well, that's true. And he's hardly a pillar of the community, like... Like who? Mr. Paneer. My dear Mr. Paneer. Who watches over this town centre like a shepherd watches his flock? Who sees to it that everybody stays on the straight and narrow? Oh, you mean you? <laughs> but don't forget... You forgot to find me after that business with the bad baggers last month. Only on account of me soft heart. It's me only failing. But don't start getting ideas. I'll let you off with a warning once, but just once. Of course, Constable. Now, you better start getting these crates put away. They're blocking a public thoroughfare. Oh dear, not more crates. Good day, Mr. Paneer. I'll leave you to uh, think things out. Out of me way, you. Don't suppose you could use a few crates of super sticky nut butter, can you? I ordered five tubs, but the daft taper at warehouse put me down for 500. How am I supposed to shift 500 tubs of super sticky nut butter? Wait a minute. Take this home to your master. Free sample, courtesy of Paneer's Produce. If you don't like it, you can always use it to fill in cracks before decorating. Ooh. 
closed by order of the law, and all on account of a teeny tiny mouse. Oof, ridiculous, really. But you know Constable Dibbins, he'll let a lot of things go, but he's a stickler when it comes to vermin. Hey up, grommets! Hey up, grommets! Abden, I couldn't help noticing that little item in the society section. The one about your master and Miss Flit. It's true, then. Been keeping it a secret, though, sly devils. Mr. Muzzle seemed like such a nice man. Who ever would have thought he'd turn out a reet villain? Oh, it's you. Looking for a policeman or a postman? I'm doing double duty. No letters for you today. Hey, you're the mutt what's responsible for my incarceration, aren't you? No hard feelings, mate. Come here. I've got a little present for you. It's not going to be an easy job. No answers yet in the, uh, flit case, Gromit. You may want to use some of my equipment. That's right. Put the thumbscrews on her. But I won't stand for any monkey business. If you don't bring me the genuine article, I'll know in an instant. Uh, no, what? That's what I need you to find out. You and that bloodhound of yours. You're detectives, aren't you? Registered and certified. Then you're precisely the men I need for the job. And I hope we can be of service. Oh, you can, you can. But you'll need to be discreet. Tread softly. Ears peeled. Eyes open. Don't let critical intelligence fall into the wrong hands. Oh, uh, others are looking for this, uh, object? Oh, yes! Always others, Wallace. Enemy agents, spies, saboteurs, spoil spots, fifth columnists, quizzling interlopers. Really? Managed to frustrate them all so far. No one can squeeze intelligence out of crumb. Uh, uh, no. And if they put the thumbscrews on you, Wallace. Oh, Gromit and I would never divulge your professional secret. Good man. Now, have you got all you need to get started? Uh, not quite everything. Dash it, what more can I tell you? This object you've lost. Lost something? Who has? Ah, yes, I just remembered. Oh, you have. Yes, something that means a great deal to me. Uh, go on. Not just me, but to all of us. It's... I suppose we can start hunting for clues with my super clue snooper. Capital idea. Uh, still... This is a matter of the utmost importance, Wallace, or I wouldn't have come. I appreciate your faith in my skills, Major. Faith has nothing to do with it. Facts are what we need, man. Cold, hard facts. Of course. So, uh, uh what have you lost? An object. Precisely. 
Uh, can you be more specific? I certainly can. How specific would you like me to be? Well, uh, we at Golden Retrieval always like to know what it is we're looking for. For a start, could you tell me what the object is? Yes, of course. It's... it's... Oh, fiddlesticks, I've forgotten. Oh. Gone. Clean out of my mind. Hmm. Well, uh, that's a poser. An imposter? Where? Uh, no, I mean, it's a problem because we... Out with it, man. Spit it out. Oh, uh, well, although we at Golden Retrieval believe the customer is always right, we may find it a little tricky to, uh, uh, um, retrieve your lost item if you can't identify what it is. I didn't say I can't identify it. Uh, you didn't? No, that'd be idiotic. Do I look like an idiot? Um... I can identify the object perfectly well. Oh, excellent. And I shall identify it as soon as you fellas find it and bring it to me. It's not going to be an easy job. No, it isn't. It's going to be deuced difficult. That's why my colleagues and I are turning to you. We only work with the best. Oh, uh, uh, well, very kind of you to say so. But I won't stand for any monkey business. If you don't bring me the genuine article, I'll know in an instant. Uh, know what? That's what I need you to find out. You and that bloodhound of yours. You're detectives, aren't you? Registered and certified. Then you are precisely the men I need for the job. And I hope we can be of service. Oh, you can, you can. <laughs>